Hello, sweet girl. Are you awake from your nap? Hi. Daddy going bye bye. Hi, sweetie. You want to play with me? Are you awake from yeah, your nap? I do. Yeah? Okay, let's get you out because mommy's going to get ready to paint right here. All right, so I am in Preston and Penelope's room. Um, I was supposed to do this project over the weekend, but the weekend got kind of busy and then... So here it is, Monday, and it's already getting into the afternoon. So I'm hoping that I can, I don't even know. I feel like at this point it might even be too late, but maybe that should be enough time for everything to dry. I'm not really sure. I don't want to paint and then the paint is wet when it's time for them to go to bed, but I think I can get some of it done and then I'll probably just have to paint their beds tomorrow. So in here I'm going to be painting Penelope's crib white and Preston's bed white. Okay, sweetie. And then I'm just going to be going inside of here with like a gray color. I was trying to get the same gray to match this wall, but I couldn't remember the name of the paint. And I thought that I took the lid off that had the paint information on it. And I thought that I kept it, but I can't seem to find it. So um, I tried to match the color as best as possible. I'm not really sure if it's going to match perfectly or not, but I figured going inside of the closet, if it's a little bit lighter, that's okay because that area is shaded anyway. My toddler's share a room. I have a boy um, and a baby girl. They are three and one and a half and I have tried to figure out different ways to make their like nursery and room look unisex and kind of neutral and you know like a cute little place for them to rest and so um, it's been a while since I've been in here and kind of like done anything so I was itching for like another project you guys are like itching to do something. Y'all know me I will change it up all the time. I think that it is so necessary for a refresh every now and again. I think I kind of probably refresh things every season and it just works for me. It brings in just a fresh new perspective and I like to hang out in here in their room a lot. We come in here and we sit down and we read and we really do hang out in here so I want it to feel good for them. I want it to feel good for me and I want it to look good so um yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get started and get busy in here because I am going to run out of daylight and I'm gonna run out of time. So originally Preston's bed was on this wall and I moved it over to here. sort of like a thing about beds being against the window so I'm kind of not sure if I like it against the window but then again I mean we have good windows so I don't think that you know if it's for the sake of him catching like a draft or anything that's not going to happen with these windows. So we're going to take this back panel off of his crib. This crib was not one of the cribs that convert into a toddler bed and we are going to get them bunk beds later but um, I don't think that Penelope is quite ready to move out of her crib yet so I'm going to hold off on buying the bunk beds until maybe after she turns two. So in the meantime just so that everything looks nice I still want Preston to have a nice looking big boy bed. So we're going to take the back piece of this off. Uh, we just bought wood to reinforce the two frames that are there so we'll use these as his headboard and footboard um, and then I'm going to paint his bed white and then I got some new sheets and stuff for his bed so I'm going to have to go on this wall and change it out because when Penelope was born her crib was over here against this wall and so this was kind of like her side of the room and then over here on the blue side was Preston's side and before anybody says anything, there was a ton of pictures and stuff on his side too. The last little while, I've taken them all down. Just have the changing table that I started to do something to and I didn't like it, and the rocking chair and a big pile of laundry. But I think I'm gonna paint this too or just get rid of it. I think I really want something like really rustic looking on this wall, but I'm not 
100% sure. So in the meantime, I'm not really working on anything over here today. I had this little shelving unit right here. Um, it's been all over the house, to be perfectly honest. I brought it in here thinking that I was going to use it. I had it above the changing table at one point, but the reality is I, like, never really used it. It made a nice shelf for those pictures up there and a nice little coat rack for Preston and Penelope's jackets. But other than that, it's kind of just taking up space on the wall. So I want to take that down and make this little area right here with the rocking chair, their little reading area. And then we have, yes, my daughter's crib is inside of a closet. Since they do share a room and the room is really small, in order to give them more floor space to play on, we went ahead and created this little area back here in the closet space for Penelope and it works you know I think it makes a cute little space back there so I'm gonna go in and take that blue out we're gonna take Preston's name down because before his crib was in there um, and I'm gonna move his little sign over by his bed and then I'm just gonna fix this up for her so it looks really cute like a little princess space and then that's gonna be it for now in the meantime anyways um, I plan to probably get them some new furniture in here and then like I said eventually they're gonna get bunk beds in here anyway so this is just the small stuff that I want to do because I'm tired of looking at everything feeling like a big mod 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 pod how do you say it mod pod however you say it you know, I'm just ready to give them a little change up in here and I'm ready to see a little something fresh so yeah I'm gonna get busy decided that I think I'm gonna keep these two edges with this original wood color on them I think maybe it'll add a little rustic to the look of the room um, but yeah so far so good so I have one more coat of white to do inside of there and then I need to clean up um, some of the paint that got on the edges and then honestly after that um, I think I'm done with her bed so I figured this was gonna be a process but I think I thought it would be a little bit faster of a process I'm used to working with spray paint when I do stuff like this but I wanted to use a real paint and then I'll seal all of it some other time so so far so good I think that um the first coat of paint that went on looked pretty shitty it was like really streaky and i know it was the brush that i was using but my roller was wet so i had to wait for my roller to kind of dry off some but now that i've gone over with a second coat with the roller i think that it all looks really good now i'm gonna finish taking care of painting that and then I'm gonna rehang the curtain rod in here because the original curtains that we used to have were from Ikea and they were really long and so I had to put them way up toward the ceiling because they draped down so low and then I got these curtains from Walmart and I noticed that um, they're flooding and they're pretty short so I have to bring those down and I bought a new um, curtain rod to do that with so I'm gonna make sure that I do that too today before 
it gets dark outside because right now it's just hanging on what was already there which is like a really tore back old curtain rod that's not working anymore <laughs> i'm gonna finish on that and then i think i'm gonna call it quits on their room for today and i'm gonna be picking it back up tomorrow Okay, so I've got her crib back in there. Um, I'm gonna change out the curtain rod, clean up this mess, and then when her bed dries, I'll put her mattress and everything back in. And then next is gonna be to figure out what the heck I'm doing over here, but to be honest, I don't even wanna think about that right now because I'm starving. I'm ready to get some lunch. I think Hubs went to go pick up some Chipotle and yeah, I'm gonna eat lunch. I'm going to call this one quits. And if you're interested in seeing how this room is gonna turn out, make sure that you come back for the next video. I'm gonna catch you guys later. Bye.